So Jay is on a night move right now. So as you know already, I'm an electrical tester and I work on construction sites. Now, on the construction sites, they usually provide us with assistance and we have electrical mates who help us do the testing, yeah? Now, an electrical mate is someone who's an unqualified person, but some of them are studying and some of them aren't studying and some of them plan to never study. They are just there to provide an extra pair of hands, yeah? Now, I was working on a particular floor and they sent an electrical mate to come and help me out. Now, his name was Georgie. Nice guy, young guy. He's cool. And I didn't really ask him much questions about, you know, what he does and whatever. But anyway, we were talking now and he said he prefers to do the electrical installation work rather than the, the testing because the testing does get quite boring, you know. The electrical installation work's more involved. You get to use drills and, you know, fix sockets and run cables. You know, it's more hands-on whatever in it so most people will enjoy that more than the electrical testing so i said to him okay so you prefer doing electrical installation work are you currently studying at the moment and he said no and i said are you going to and he said no because the course is too expensive now in this country if you're over the age of either 18 or 19 you have to pay for your college tuition yeah maybe back in the day it was free for anyone and everyone but as far as I know, you have to pay for your college tuition if you're the age 18 or 19 or over, whatever, in it, yeah. Unless you get a grant from, like, I don't know, um, the job centre or something like that. You have to pay for your tuition. So he said he's not willing to pay for it because it's too expensive. He'd rather go out drinking with his friends on the weekend yeah, than save the money. And I said to him, listen, man, you might have to sacrifice four or five months of not going out at all so that you can save up enough money to sit this course. And he said there's no chance of that happening because his problem is he can only see as far as his arms can reach. Yeah? He cannot see that, OK, if I save up for four or five months and don't go out at all, because sometimes you might have to ride it cold turkey. Yeah, let's be real now. He doesn't see it. OK, if I save up for four to five months and not go out at all, I will have enough money to pay for this course because he will. The thing is, right, he's an electrical mate and he's an unqualified person. But on construction sites, they still get paid a good flipping wage. Like an unqualified person, right, he can still earn about £120 per day. Let's call it 100 He's taking home five, well, he's making £500 per week. That's two grand a month, right? He could set aside some money, right, to pay for that course over a four to five month period of time, right? But he doesn't want to do it because he'd rather mess around with his friends and play around on the weekend rather than think to yourself, okay, I'll save up four or five months, maybe six months. I don't go out at all. I know it's going to be difficult, but I know in the long run it is going to be worth it. He cannot see that. And what will happen is he will continue to be on this low wage for the rest of his life until he decides to wake up and think to himself, do you know what? I'm going to you know, make that sacrifice now so that I have a bit more in the future. You, you don't trust me you don't want to be in his position where you get to like 40 years old and be like damn man i still are an unqualified person right i can only go so far in this industry because look, let's face it you're not everyone is going to be some flipping multi-million um multi-millionaire entrepreneur a lot of people are just going to be workers yeah but at least if you're going to be worker at least get paid a high wage at least get paid like the best wage that you possibly can or a decent wage like at least become qualified you know what i mean you're in an industry right and you're carrying out the same work that a qualified person is doing at least become qualified listen in life you're gonna have to make some sacrifice you might have to go without for a very long time you might have to save up two years for a property yeah don't like you know really cut down on your excursions and your fun activities and stuff for two years to save up to buy a property now i had a conversation with my friend not too long ago and he watched one of my videos and i was saying that you know if you think it takes five years to save up for a property then you're very unrealistic i was saying and you know you need to kind of review your 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 plan to buy a property because it shouldn't take you five years now he was saying oh no jay you're wrong and stuff like that and not everyone's a good saver like you so five years is realistic right so 
let's take my friend's advice, yeah, and say, yeah, okay, it might take people five years to buy a property, yeah. I, I say don't, I, I say that it should take you only about two, two and a half years to buy a property, but let's take his advice and say, okay, yeah, four or five years. You might have to cut down a bit for a good four to five years to get that property, but it's up to you, yeah. You don't want to, just like him, yeah, you want to be like him, yeah, you don't want to make that sacrifice, then you always stay down here, right? He will always be here because he's not willing to make that sacrifice to get here. Every successful person does it. It has to be done. Everyone's done it. Beyonce's done it, yeah? I think I was listening to something one time and it was saying that, you know, she didn't sleep or she didn't eat for two days. Now, obviously, just because you don't eat for two days doesn't mean you're going to be a multimillionaire. But what I'm saying is she was that focused on her task, you know, um... You know, I think she was trying to um, record an album. She forgot to eat. She didn't care about eating. You're always going to have to make some sacrifice. Yeah. I didn't get my um, property, you know, because I, I, I was spunking my money. I was saving my money. Yeah. But I've always been a good saver. So that was kind of like my advantage. But in life, you're going to have to make some sacrifice. Nothing just comes from, yeah, oh, I'm just going to wing it or I'm just going to be lazy and stuff like that. And you think things are going to come and, and fall into place. It don't go that way, man. Everyone makes sacrifice. You think all those people who are doctors and they earn flipping 100, 200 grand a year, you, you think that came out of nowhere? Oh, yeah, they just study. No, it's not they just study. Eight years of your life studying. That's a flipping sacrifice to me because they're not just studying and getting passes, you know. Or merits. They're getting flipping distinctions. Yeah, they need to get the highest qualification there. So, yeah, they did probably go out and enjoy themselves, but they flipping well studied hard. You see all these kids, and I was one of them as well, messing around on the estate. Those children, right, that grow up to become doctors, they weren't out playing out with us. Yeah, they weren't out playing out with us. They were in their house and they were studying hard because their parents had the sense to. You know, I'm going to sacrifice my children's fun time and, you know, socialising or whatever in it so that they can have prosperity in life. So you're never going to get nowhere in life unless you make sacrifice. Yeah. Don't be like that guy. Yeah. Who isn't willing to sacrifice four or five, six months to get to the next level because he's always going to be here. He's always going to be here because he doesn't have the, the mindset to think to himself, all right, let me make this sacrifice so I can get here. And you know what? This is why I love meeting lots of different people and I love speaking to lots of different people because obviously I know this stuff, but it doesn't really dawn on me until I hear it. I think, okay, yeah, I can make a video about this and stuff. And Because it's all well and good just plucking stuff out of thin air. But when you actually hear it, then you can say, okay, boom, this is situation. This is how I can give back to my YouTube viewers, isn't it? So, if you want to get anywhere in life, you're going to need to make sacrifice. Yeah? If you don't want to make the sacrifice, that's why you're in the position that you're in now. And that's why you will forever be in the position that you are in. Because you're not willing to make a sacrifice. All the people that you know, that you haven't seen them make any progression, right? Think to yourself, has this person made any sacrifice? And the answer is probably no. Stay wise.